hello guys from Cha'am. I'm in Thailand now. Cha'am. Cha'am. It's basically first beach north from the Bangkok. And it's basically uh, occupied by local people. You won't see many foreigners. Uh, which can be an advantage, it's up to you. You can get a train, like, let's say five, four hours from Grand Sioux, uh, Bank, Bank on railway station, the new one. And it looks like this here. You got probably three kilometers of these. I don't know how to say that. The place is for resting, because that's what Thai people like. They just pay this space, as I said, the f 10 chairs, it's 300 baht. There is further, you get a 6 chair. That is, I think, 200 baht, and you can take 4 chairs as well. Okay guys, so, so this small place with 4 chairs is uh, Aloy Hasip. So 150, 200, 6. Most of the people take 10 places, 10 chairs for uh, 300. I'm not sure about price on the other one, that should be with parking as well. So it's up to you. The Thai people bring just food, usually from home, just put it on the table and enjoy. So this is what I got. Boo, small boo, crunchy boo, 35 baht. Uh, shrimp, one, two, three, four of them, 35 baht. And this chicken, like on the grill, acid bath, onion, lemon, sip bath extra. And this is how it looks here. This place cost 300 bath. It's not the cheapest for 10 people. And people just bring their own food. It's parking and uh, uh, parking and this. See, so you bring your own food and you enjoy as long as you wish. You go swim, eat, swim, eat. And that's how it is done in Cha'am. Kids swim as much as they want. And this is how it goes. And uh, it's usually empty during the week. They probably uh, fold all this stuff and it's empty. But uh, during the weekend the local people will come and enjoy. So the beach straight away you can see wasn't clean for long. So comparing to Da Nang the beach was clear there. It's obvious there is a lots of these shells, you know. Just by the way, you shouldn't bring them uh, uh, to the airport. I'm not sure, you probably won't pay any fee, but you're not allowed to take them out of the country. As far as I know, it's up to you. It's a little bit annoying because this broken shell can be a little bit more sharp, but they are bigger shell. And you can even see that poo, which you can see in the video, the small one. They sell them baked, I don't know, 
six or seven of them for about one pound 35 bath and the sea went further in the morning it was up to here just a little bit annoying to walking like I would say like 40 meters and then the water eventually going deeper but it's not that steep so even if you go further and you walk like 20 meters in 30 meters 50 meters probably you can still reach if you are like me if you are six stones you can def uh, if you are six feet you will definitely reach like 50 meters from here uh, water is pretty hot and it's a little bit more dirty um, I just came from Vietnam so I have to compare it it's ocean the water is more clean in Vietnam Da Nang when I was but the waves can be much higher they can reach like two meters and here I don't know but uh, Da Nang if you want to swim every day it's you must be good swimmer because you can have two probably even higher waves so you really need to be good if you want to swim in dark waves you need to have some pace to, to, to stay in reach because the waves can t take you very fast in, in Da Nang so yeah beach is cleaner in Da Nang as well and water is colder the water in Da Nang was like they say 28 but it, it depend, depend on waves so you don't have so many poo and uh, uh, you don't have so many cracks and these shells you got only little but you can even see here on this sand you can see the small holes and small balls from the poo from the crabs so there's way more crabs here maybe because the water is hotter maybe uh, so for swimming for good swimmer Danang is better definitely better because the water is colder which is better for swimming and uh, you got to say guards there but I don't know if you don't know how to swim and something will happen in wave I'm not really sure if they're gonna save you <laughs> you don't have any safeguard here which is good because it's not annoying you don't have limited space to swim as well so for good swimmer it's probably better here from this I don't know from my point of view because nobody's gonna limit you and you can swim wherever you want so you're a good swimmer you know you don't like if somebody is telling you what to do it can be annoying and it was annoying in Danang it was annoying a lot but on the other hand yeah for people who well if you want to swim every day it's better here because the waves are not gonna be that, that big and you can walk further uh, I would say the the bottom the floor uh, seabed is more I would say homogeneous constant here in Danang it was yeah it was random that's why they were like swimming pools because uh, the, that place was like specially chosen more safer uh, the, the seabed was better but here the seabed is kind of regular or even so if you are a worse swimmer and you want to swim every day this will be better for you uh, I will personally choose Danang because the water is cleaner and colder it's better for me colder water okay so that was comparison with Vietnam today we got overcast and we got like spitting rain 50 50 I would say like 50 percent 
of the day spitting rain but you can feel the sun through the uh, through the clouds after two three hours of spitting rain I apply the sunscreen to make sure I'm not gonna burn and as what I advise I would apply sunscreen on the shoulders and face definitely even if you go to water if you stay there longer uh, this will be I would say necessary to apply sunscreen if you are white European uh, this should be rather cheaper probably a little bit cheaper than Huahin but very close to that price in Huahin I see there is a phalanx there is less fun so it should be cheaper and that's probably all I'm thinking did I forget something water is hotter uh, I'm not sure if there is a dormitory room somewhere in Chiang I, I didn't check that but I know accommodation if if you come you can book straight away with somebody if you don't know just book one night and then go around uh, you will definitely get something like for 200 pounds a month for sure or search on Facebook if it is further it can be even less for sure it can be probably 100 pounds if it is if you get a bike or whatever and you will like 10 minutes biking car will be the same so three kilometers same like this you can rest and chill in these places you can borrow uh, this safety I don't know 